right, everybody, we are back and we are going to do our three-way ANOVA analysis um, so we can kind of finish up uh, our analysis of our data set here. So we've done one-way, two-way. We've looked at what are statistically significant. We've done post hoc tests. We know how to calculate everything by hand. So really, now it's, it's about finishing up. So let's go ahead and let's see what our results can yield and give us today. So let's go ahead and we'll pull up We'll pull up the data set here. Let's go back and let's kind of take a peek. So we've done two way, so now it's time for three way ANOVA. Um, so let's run our three way ANOVA data set. Uh, let's just make sure that we have uh, crap at. Good, we're still good to go. All right, so I'm gonna say that this is gonna be our three way ANOVA. So we're going to go to Three-way, let's do AOV, and then let's start to do yield as a function of dense. Actually, let's do dense uh, plus uh, fertilizer plus block plus dense fertilizer. I'm going to enter here. Uh, dense fertilizer plus dense block eh. B -L -O -C -K. plus uh, what else do we got dense fertilizer dense block we've got fertilizer block we've also got plus fertilizer block and dense so I'm doing all the two-way interactions but with the three-way ANOVA now we can do a, a full three-way reaction so uh, crap so let's see what we get three-way now let's do summary of three-way all right let's look at our p-values here so again the degrees of freedom look good um, for the block uh, basically for the block we had uh, again different degrees of freedom um, and actually we can look at that let's look at the crop data so for the block we had one two three four but you can see the degrees of freedom in that system as well. So if we look at, so we still see density, statistically significant. Fertilizer, statistically significant. Where we put the, where we plant our crops in terms of like the different blocks, one, two, three, four, is not statistically significant. Neither is density and fertilizer or fertilizer and block. Um, now, you'll see that we're not getting the result of that third three-way interaction. Um, sometimes, depending on the size of your data set and the number of data uh, points that you get, R may not actually show you that three-way interaction. Um, now, Mathematica, as does, um, as will Python, they will estimate that three-way interaction, but it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit tricky and it's kind of hard to analyze in here. So we're going to stick with R obviously in this course because that's what we do. Um, but just to kind of know why that three-way interaction is not popping up, sometimes it won't, um, it will not, you know, basically pop up uh, <laughs> uh, in short. So we don't see any um, kind of unique interactions here. So, but we can keep, you know, working as we've done previously. So we can do our uh, games how test and this way we can look at crop dat and then yield in terms of the block so we can enter that oops what don't you like why don't you like that games how test I think we need uh, we probably need our library our LSR library actually why, why don't we have the games how test excuse me Let's see what we've got here. Let's hold the horses here for just a second. Ah, here we go. LSR. Where's our games how test? There we go. So, if we look at, we don't have really any statistical significance between variables within the block except for two and three. So those are statistically significant in terms of 
differing based on the yield values there. Um, but again, still that parameter is not statistically significant regardless. Um, now, it may be somewhat useful, again, although they're, so really two and three are not statistically significant whatsoever. Um, but let's go ahead and if we look at our crop dat, the block is the two. So I'm gonna do crop dat and I want to do, I wanna filter based on, actually I'm gonna do df. Uh, I'm trying to, let's see. Because I want to DS select similar to what we did previously. And actually, that's what I'm going to do here. And then I'm going to filter. So, for example, I want to look at. So, I want to do crop dat pipe DF select instead of fertilizer, I want block. And then I want my block value to be equal to one. And then I also want to just look at the, uh, the mean of that. Mm. Let's see what we get here first. Good. So I want I could also just get, uh, let's do, how about this? Let's do call means. Hmm. So let's, well, we could just do this. Eh, I'll do it the hard way, although I'm sure there's a way to do this. I'm gonna call this B1, just like we did previously. B1, B2, B3, B4. Three, four, two, three, four. So let's do bang, 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 bang. Ah, no. I want two, B3, B4. And we'll get to why I'm doing this in just a second. So let's do mean of B1, two. Let me do the same thing. Two, oops. Two, okay. B2, B3, B4. So bang, 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 bang. So one, two, three, four. So we see that uh, the highest is two and two and three are statistically significant. So, although I don't believe if we look back at our, um, at our games, how, let's see, our two and four statistically significant. No, they are not. Um, so again, it, it's hard to say kind of which parameter you would select or which, um, not parameter, but like experimental condition effectively you would select. But I would say I would select the highest value one uh, here, even though, again, they're not technically statistically significant. Um, so it's kind of hard to make a definitive statement about that. Um, but again, if you're looking at experimental conditions to maximize the yield, that may be the way to, um, to go on that. And then finally, we can look at is block a large effect? And we can do our eta, eta squared for three way. And we can see density, large effect, large effect, basically small to no effect, small to no effect, small effect for sure. Um, so, or actually probably basically zero effect, zero effect, zero effect, um, effectively. Which makes sense looking at our statistical significance. So that would be how you can analyze this three-way ANOVA. So we wanna look at what values are statistically significant in terms of the outcome that we're looking for, what variables. Within our variables, we wanna run a post hoc test to see if there's statistical significance between different experimental conditions within our variable. And then we wanna see what variables are or have um, a large effect effectively on our outcome. So that's what we're looking for. So thanks and we'll see you all next time. Bye.